Good morning and welcome to Mimosas in the morning. Well, afternoon. Afternoon. For us, okay. but not for yeah. Hope, who's in California. But California oh, does mimosas uh, all the time, all right? The time. So. All the time. <laughs> I'm Leslie. And I'm Holly. And we are here today with Hope Bradley, who is with the newly, I guess we could say, newly 501c3 organization, mm -hmm. Dependa Strong, which... Um, like I said, Hope is based out of California, which is why we're doing a little different today yep. so that we can make sure to get her viewers out there and ours here. So Hope, if you'd like to give everybody here just a little little rundown on the organization. What and is the Strong? Yes. Well, so guys, I know a lot of people, I get a lot of flack for the name. I'm going to be honest. Um, Dependa is not a very nice term. And that is part of the reason behind it, honestly, is I wanted to take that word's power um, and not let it be a derogatory term, but rather use it to <clears throat> empower us and each other, um, mm -hmm. where we are anything but dependents. We are fiercely independent and make things happen for our families and our community and ways that are amazing. And so I just wanted to highlight the fact that we are not dependas. Um, basically, the organization was created to raise awareness of the mental health challenges that we face as dependents, not just us as spouses, but also our kids. Um, I know that Congress is going to release their first ever study on dependent suicide rates here in a couple of weeks. Um, and if you are in the community at all, you know the statistics, you understand, um, you know, our spouses are three times as likely to have dependency issues as their civilian counterparts. Here in California last year, um, San Diego State University did a study of high school age students. So students ages 12 to 18, and they found that military connected students here in San Diego we're twice as likely to have suicidal thoughts and actions versus their civilian counterparts, mm -hmm. simply due to our lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So I feel like mental health is a taboo subject in much of our society, but also just our families. Like we have to understand that after being a nation at war for 18 years, those effects have trickled down into the fabric of our families. It's no longer just the veterans or just the service members who are suffering with these mental health issues. It now has become their spouses and their children. And this is a conversation that we need to have with each other. Um, and this is a conversation that we need to have with civilians. We need to be honest about the challenges of our life and how that can negatively impact our well-being. For sure. You know, I think that that's one discussion I've had with a lot of my friends and everything is this generation of kids, they grew up, especially, you know, our military connected kids, not knowing anything but wartime. Mm -hmm. These aren't the Absolutely. kids who, who had their parents go on a one time deployment. And that was, you know, that was the extent of it. These are kids who have done multiple times. Mm -hmm. So you sit there and they've been on bases. They've seen people go to their neighbor's doors, you know, when mm -hmm. tragedy strikes. You know, a classroom friend lost a lost a parent. I mean, this is a very different generation mm -hmm. of military. Absolutely. And I think that um, you you hit something going by the college and everything. I'm a student. Leslie, you know, has uh, a child that we actually attend the same university. Um, <laughs> and the, um, when you're on pages that are already talking about how to transition your children from grade school to you know up to going to college, this is a topic that comes up a lot. Um, did they send their child off? They're all excited. And the child really has that separation, um, you know, doubts and anxiety and just transitioning the, the whole aspect of leaving. And I think our children are resilient and they're so um, strong. However, when it comes to that, they have been there kind of with their parent, the, the one parent, the mom, usually not just saying that mm -hmm. it's all because it's not. And um, we are, you know, now with everybody who's spouses. But they're with that one parent, whoever it may be. Mm -hmm. And now they have left that parent and they're yeah. totally by themselves. It's right. a mm -hmm. thing. And I think one thing that's interesting, like you said, you've taken some flack over the name. Yeah. But you've, you're taking ownership of something that has gotten a lot of negative connotations. And I think really over the mm -hmm. 
past few years, I don't think it was all that, you know, the nastiness that some of you know, some of the things that had happened. So I think that's really cool that you're taking ownership of that. Well, it will yeah. never catch the eye because I looked at it myself. I'm like, oh, the Pinistrol. And that was one of my questions. Well, where did you get the name from? <laughs> so you already took that right there and went with it. And you're taking yeah. charge. The reason why you come up with this name is because you wanted to make a statement. On your right, absolutely. <laughs> it's, it, you know, in the age of the internet, there's so many keyboard warriors out there. Um, and even within our, within our community, I feel like in the last couple of years, I've kind of noticed the shift to like be really mean and negative towards each other. Um, and so I just was very discouraged by that. And a lot of the groups on Facebook where you would just see like, women attacking each other and you know calling each other names and stuff like that and i really just wanted to create a different type of community um where we encourage each other and we're supportive and we are transparent with each other and can say hey i've been there like i i understand i get it mm -hmm. i tell people all the time like we have to stop trying to dress up our mess that's what i say no not you we all have hard days and so we have to stop putting our pearls on and our smile and saying, oh, everything's fine. It's all good. You know, sometimes we need to be real with each other. We need to have those conversations where we say, hey, I've dealt with that before. Hey, I, you know, needed help getting to sleep because I was stressed or I was whatever, you know, like we need to open that line of communication, especially with, I feel like the younger generation of spouses that are coming in and love on them and encourage them and let them know that, hey, it's hard, but you can do it. And mm -hmm. here's how I did it. And here's the things that I, that I struggled with. Uh, let's talk about it. Let's see how we can help this work for you or, you know, just give some guidance to them instead of being so judgmental. Mm -hmm. And actually, we have it all together all the time because it's not the case. <laughs> No. Mm -mm. Well, Hope, why don't you tell everybody about the new initiative going on with the Pinda Strong that we're working on? So I'm super excited about this one. Um, along with the stress of just life, I feel like as moms, um, a lot of our stress comes from the educational gaps that seem to happen with our kids, especially at the high school age. You know, when it when they're young, it's easy, like we'll go to a different elementary school or we'll go here, What they transition a little bit easier. Um, mm -hmm. High school and middle school is such a hard age anyway, just to be a kid. Like I know you guys probably remember middle school. Middle school was, ugh. No, I have, a, so I have a middle schooler, we have a high schooler. Elementary schooler, we got, we, we, got, we got it all over here. <laughs> but it's the, the middle school for me, I think that the whole transition of trying to find who they are, you're not no more in elementary, can't treat you like the baby. At the same time, you're not really old enough to kind of take care of yourself. And you got all the hormones that come in play. Oh, and yeah. that is stressful. <laughs> and then the it, same thing with high school is they know that they are becoming who they're supposed to be, mm -hmm. but you really haven't figured out completely who that is. <clears throat> right, exactly. So those are normal developmental challenges that everybody faces. But you add a deployment, you add right now, my 10th grader is on her fourth high school mm -hmm. in 10th grade, like just because of extenuating circumstances and craziness that happened that was not her fault or not in her control. And so you add those things to an already uh, tumultuous kind of time in their life, and it really can have a negative impact. And I know um, as mommies, we want to fix everything all the time and like fix it. <clears throat> And um, I think that's kind of where my heart for all of this came into play is that, you know, a circumstance happened with a school out here. I am very, um, I'm very, I'm, I'm comfortable being the squeaky wheel. I'm comfortable like letting people know this isn't right and we got to fix this kind of thing. And so I fixed it for my child. Um, however, there are other military connected students that are still having to deal with this same thing. And so as a community, we have to say, hey, even if it's fixed for my kid, what about the next kid? Mm -hmm. What about the kid that comes after my kid? Um, and I wanna make it better for all military kids. And so that's where some of this 
my heart for some of this came into play. Um, so Semper Fortis Recruiting is going to bridge the gap. Uh, if you are familiar with student athletes in high school, <clears throat> most student athletes get to stay in the same place. And if they're good and they have good grades, they have recruiters coming to games by their sophomore, junior year. Military kids sometimes don't get that same advantage. Either they are Oconus and they're stationed in Guam or Japan or wherever, or they have to move multiple times and start over. And in different regions of, of the country, that can be really hard. Mm -hmm. So what we want to do is try to bridge that, that gap and bring the military connected student athlete to the recruiter instead of the recruiter having to fly to Guam or having to fly to Japan, which is realistically not going to happen. There's, there's not going to be a division one school that sends mm -hmm. a recruiter to Guam to see a kid, no matter what, what his statistics are. Like. Yeah. <clears throat> So um, we want to bring the military child to that recruiter by way of um, a platform that's going to operate a little bit like social media where they will have their own profile that will include their GPA. It will include their st stats from their games. It will include highlight film um, and it will include a way for that recruiter to reach out to that student if their university is interested and invite them to, you know, a summer football camp or a college ID camp. And then we would like to provide a way for that military connected student to participate if for whatever reason his family can't afford to get him to a camp or um, can't afford, you know, the flight, the entrance fee, whatever it may be, we would like to step in and provide that for that military kid because we want our kids to have options. Um, statistically, Military service has become a family business, and that's awesome. We, we are proud of our military service, um, but we want it to be a choice. We want our kids to have the same opportunities that they would have if they weren't in a military family. Yeah. So yeah, I think for it's, it's fantastic because, like I said, my son will be a 10th grader next year. Um, we right. move, we PCS next year, mm -hmm. or my husband might retire. We don't, we don't know until, we well, always said um, the Marine Corps and God has a plan. We don't know which one plan is going to come yeah. first. Um, right. But, <laughs> what, we're going to move. We're not staying here in Tampa. Um, I think mm -hmm. Javier would love to stay here in Tampa. Yeah. Leslie would like to miss it. Holly is not staying here. I'm still Tampa. working on it, but yeah. that's all right. Tampa. But we have to move. And so I'm going to have to deal with it. My son does sports. He likes football. And um, and he like uh, he lo loves ROTC. So yeah. those are two things that um, he's already asked to please stay because he's it kind of implanted himself really well and he's getting used to things. But we told him you're a military kid. This is life for you. Wherever you go, right. you will you will connect. But we have to deal with that. Well, full okay, disclosure. So. This is how Hope and I got to know each other because um, yeah. I am part yeah. of this process now with the Simple Fortis recruiting and. We're so, <laughs> we're so proud of you. Well, so proud you. of you because this is where you're. Super I yeah. have two kids, and she has five well, kids. I have kids that are in this in this realm right, right now. now. But so, she has five kids, and they all do sports. Yeah. All so five. I just, you know, my son just finished his first year of playing college ball, and had decided not to return to the school that he was mm -hmm. at. So we have just been on a secondary mission of getting him recruited, and. Luckily, I'm not announcing the school, but he did commit last week oh, to a new yay. school. And my daughter is committed. Um, she committed as a sophomore She's amazing. to yeah. play uh, Division One softball. So we have been through this on that side with the baseball and softball. And that's why I yeah, really wanted to reach out with Hope and to, to try to bring some of the knowledge. I do not know everything. I'll be mm -hmm. very honest. I don't. However, I've seen the things that we can do across the different mm -hmm. sports. And I think one thing that we have talked about, other than a grant program, is really trying to connect and partner with organizations that um, kind of already do this instead mm -hmm. of completely recreating the will. Yeah. Right. And but we don't have anything for military. No, that's why that's we're why it's not recreating. Right. Yeah. You want to partner with people that do this outside of a military circle. Mm -hmm. You know, pick the brain in a sense. Like, pick our, how are you doing this for our civilian children? Right. How can we incorporate that for our... And it is a different world. You know, as, as, a, 
as a mother of a child who moved after his um, freshman year of high school. Yeah. And trying to understand how it worked. And, and we made mistakes with Zach. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we really did on trying to understand it. He's a great kid. You didn't make mistakes. Well, we made mistakes. We, we, we made learning, learning curves. It's a, it's a learning, learning curve. curves. Claire's <laughs> different. But I think that hopefully between what Hope's going through with her daughter, who is a sophomore right now, and, and on the soccer side, and what with, many, you know, with, yeah, with baseball and softball and really trying to connect with our community, finding people who – have been there and done that so we can combine together to help our student athletes mm -hmm. because it is expensive. It's expensive to attend. To tell them if, if you are out there and you're watching um, our live, how can they connect with you and hope hope where do you want them to go? Um, so we have an official Facebook page. Uh, Depend of strong is our official nonprofit page. And then it, you can email me straight from there. Or if you just want to find me on Facebook, um, as an individual and message me. Uh, we definitely are looking for corporate sponsorship, corporate partnerships, um, just to really get the word out there and really get some funding going for our initiative so that we can start making a difference in some military kids' lives. And we will be very active coming up with our with different social media channels, um, you know, all the different the different ones. So if you follow Hope and follow Depend to Strong, we'll have a lot of information on there coming. Come this never mentions this, but what did you want to do when you were in college? Because she's a PR. This is this is less. Oh, I was a she, sports information. She, I yeah, went to, she that's is. what I did. And yeah. all my training kind of mm -hmm. went to that direction. So, so her heart and her passion, this is where it all lies. And I'm so happy that, you know, God, I always say he always a plan, he has a plan for us. And we never know who we're gonna meet. That leads to that plan of week. She's been talking about this for so long. I'm so so happy that she finally met you, and um, this is happening because this is where everybody lies is helping. You know, with her. You're a great mother, an excellent mother, and she's sportsy. She's such a sportsy knowledge. I'm like, I'm always like so proud of her. So when I watch all this on TV, I'm like, that could have been my Leslie. But now you're gonna do it for our military kids. You're gonna be over there talking. Oh, uh, well, we'll, 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 we will hopefully have a YouTube channel up where our athletes will be able to put their, their videos mm -hmm. and that kind of thing and be able to connect directly with the coaches and send stuff out from there. And with the Semper Fortis designation for our kids, they're going to know that means always strong. That so that is, that is what awesome. we think I these children it. are. So I mm -hmm. want to go with that. Thank you, Hope, very much Thank for you. coming on. I hope maybe one day get to meet you in person. I'm a hugger. So just stand yeah. by. Me too. Okay, lots of loving. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I picked up on the Southern accent, girl. That's just a Southern thing. <laughs> where are you originally from then? Georgia. To where? Georgia. Georgia, Georgia. girl. Love it. She's a South Carolinian. I'm a South Carolinian. So. Yeah. Love, love, love. But we, but we understand what grit really means. So. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us. And... Like I said, we will put the links uh, um, for you yep. so that we can get our viewers and to connect with the organization. Exactly. Awesome. And I thank you so much. So much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. No, thank you. Oh, Bye. finish off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. With our mimosas. Mm -hmm. Remember that military home base brings you home one base at a time. Thank you all. Talk okay. to you soon. I feel like we had to smile for someone because it freezes. It's going, Hope. It says it's going to end. <laughs>